You're listening to KEXP. We're at 90.3 FM in Seattle, and you can find us streaming online around the globe at kexp.org. We've got a globe-trotting band live in studio today, and I know you've been hearing us talk about it all month long, but the very last band in our historic Dexter and Denny KEXP studios and one of our favorite ride is here with me live in studio today. Welcome, guys. Hi. Hi. I am so excited to chat with you, catch up, since a couple of us last saw each other in August. But uh, we have been waiting for many, many months and actually sort of years for a full band session with Ride live in studio. So you want to start us off with some music? We will. <clears throat> this is Kaleidoscope. in the KEXP studios with Ride. Tonight they are playing at the Neptune Theater here in Seattle. We couldn't be more excited to have them here today. The last band performing here at Dexter and Denny in um, our home for the past 14 years. Thousands of great sessions and no pressure guys, but this is the big bang up. The last one here. Mark, you've been here before. Yeah, a couple of times, I think. Yeah, it's so. I remember it all. It's so great to have you back, and you have to promise to come to our new home as well. We're excited to show it off to you. We we will. I promise. <laughs> what have we got next? Uh, we have. Um, so we're we're going um, nowhere heavy at the moment because it's the 25th anniversary. So we thought we'd do kind of just nowhere tunes for this session. Um, and the next song is Polar Bear. <laughs> Thank you. 
Toss from her hands on the sky She said I'd touch the ground She felt so high The toss made her cry in the KEXP studios with Ride playing songs from nowhere. Cannot believe it's been 25 years yeah. since that album came out. I bet in some ways you can't believe it either. Yeah, not at all. No, not at all. <laughs> it must Where did be, they go? Uh, it, you sound as great as ever, though, and we're so excited to have you here today. I'd love to talk with you more, but I'm itching for just a bit more music. You want to play one more and then we'll catch up? Yeah, this is uh, in a different place, appropriately.
Just sounds so wonderful. Ride live here in the KEXP studios. Guys, thank you so much for coming in today. It is so great to have you here. It's a pleasure. It's good to be back. And Andy and Mark, thank you for your generosity and time for doing that acoustic session with us in that Poland. That was so much fun. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. We didn't know where we were going to be taken, actually. We ended up in this factory type thing. Big, cavernous, dusty space. And then uh, you'd set up this really beautiful... Uh, sort of uh, acoustic thing for us and it was great I mean yeah. the, the, uh, the sound of the room was really good yeah we didn't even really know that the acoustics would be that beautiful and we got so many great comments on the video of that and people talking about the acoustics and how gorgeous your voices sounded together actually one of the couple of the the people wrote in saying the best music era in my life uh it's why the 90s kicked ass proper musicians <laughs> good to know. Well, hopefully we are by now anyway <laughs> and one of the comments was uh, they couldn't wait to see a full band on kexp because right there in the video 
show. You promised that you would come. So it's so great to have Steve and Laz here in studio. And you mentioned how much fun that was, but I saw, I've seen you perform. Uh, I got to see you perform as a full band there, and I saw you out in the crowd as well, and always full of smiles. You really seem to be hmm. enjoying this tour, and you've been on it for a while. Yeah, it's it kind of, um, it's it, well, it started as uh, we were looking at uh, a month or two, and uh, suddenly before we know it, we're, we're heading into December, and we haven't kind of stopped really. But, um, but yeah, I mean, and, and lots of smiles, because I think it, you know, things were added and um, it's been great. I mean, you can't, that, that was amazing, that Polish festival. I thought that was a, a, and it was the hottest day that it had ever been in Poland for like that, this century apparently. But um, it was great. Yeah, it was a good time. You've been able to play both festival mm. and club shows. Has yeah. it been equally fun to be doing all kinds of different audience setups? It, it keeps you on your toes, definitely, because... Um, you, maybe you get into one way of doing different things so it's been nice because I mean on a personal note I felt um, the, the biggest some of the festivals we've, we've been sort of headlining and playing have been amazing and then um, but then it's also really nice to sort of suddenly come to a, a club environment as well where it's I mean obviously festivals there's lots of onlookers there and people that are kind of maybe just checking things out um, so it's nice to sort of get back to rooms as well where you kind of understand that people are there to see you and so. obviously you have tons and tons of fans that are so excited to see you out on tour, but a festival mm. allows you to play to new audiences exactly. on a larger scale. Have you been able to talk to any of those younger, new, I'm guessing younger, maybe older, new fans? Um, not on that festival because my Polish isn't too good. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally, yeah. I mean, yeah, you kind of get a sense of it, yeah. Um, but it's quite, a, you know, a lot of the time it's kind of a bit of a um military sort of routine you kind of you go in and you play your show and then you're kind of off to the next one it's been quite a lot of that as well so um kind of keeps you out of um, trouble as well like that when we got a chance <laughs> to talk in august andy you specifically mentioned that you were excited about uh going out to radio stations and doing the things that you hadn't done for a long time have you been able to and we're so happy you're here today but have you been able to do that a bit on this tour as much as you hoped um this is the f first is the first one on this, t this little trip. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you made my dreams come true today. Right back at you. <laughs> uh, again, I can't believe you're celebrating 25 years of Nowhere. It's so fun to be hearing those songs today. Mm. And uh, it's true that you guys, some of you have known each other since you were teens. You've known each other a long time. Yeah, me and Mark have been friends since we were 13 or something. And we kind of knew of Steve because he was like a year and a half above Steve was a good friend of my sister's so we were all at the same school but when you're when you're that age a year is a lot so he wouldn't have talked to us at that point you obviously achieved great prominence in the 90s I mean you were breaking mm. all kinds of records f uh, for your label creation at the time and being that young obviously I'm sure you were puffed up with pride and swagger but you couldn't have known what kind of a legacy that you would leave behind and how influential that you would be again seeing all those comments people saying best era of my life mm. uh, that that's just got to feel incredible especially now playing again yeah certainly surprising I mean that that's true of the the beginning of the band then um then we kind of squandered it all and then it, the the next two or three years after that. So by the time we finished, it felt like no one even knew who we were anymore. You know, we kind of, we uh, did the classic, um, I don't Crash. know what you call it, but, <laughs> but it was a classic, um, like, trajectory of, like, going up and then heading <laughs> straight down as fast as we came up. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's been surprising to see the reaction now. People are remembering it after so many years. Five years go by, you think, yeah, it's been five years. Then suddenly it's 10, suddenly it's 15, suddenly it's 20. I mean, now it's 25, which is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it's the people decide in the end, you know. I mean, it's like all we, all we did then was just try, try and do what you do to the best of your ability and whatever that gets labelled with. And we had a few of those. I mean, in the end of the day, it's hopefully just interest in music. And, you know, you just hope that something you are doing then will will stand the test of time because that is the kind of ultimate test, really. And certainly a lot of music that inspired us, you know, did have you know that timeless value you know we were into certain not certainly things that were 20 30 years before as well as contemporary things around at the time so it certainly has stood the test of time and we talked about this a little bit in poland which is on the video but mm. you know you were writing those lyrics when you were quite young but mm. you said that that's it's still meaningful uh, yeah. for you to sing them now so there's quite a lot of universal themes in there i think which still it's well, it never had kind of answers on things it's just sort of more questions and just very true feelings about how you were and a lot of those things don't 
really change throughout your life. You might get slightly better at dealing with them, but there's still, for me anyway, it's still a lot of kind of confusion there. Well, your trajectory has been a circular one now, and uh, you've come back to the beginning. When we spoke last, you said, you know, you didn't know what was coming. You had a few shows, and then mm. it turned into more, and it turned into more. Now you've been touring, you know, on a year coming up now, and you said you just wanted to take it day by day and mm -hmm. enjoy the moment, and, and I'm so happy that you were doing that because you still yeah. look happy, you know, yeah. nearly a year later. But can I ask, now that we are coming close to the end of the year, do you know what you might do you know after the holidays you go home spend time with your families still using the food release a perfume <laughs> release a perfume yeah. okay. <laughs> you know it's there's still in a way we still got two more weeks and uh, you know uh, we, we're off to the far east after this so it's still for me just the, the great football terminology we take it a game at a time sort of thing so i, I still i really still feel that way and we'll just see where we're at when we get home in, in december and the far east is a place you've been touring for 25 years, I think mm. your first tour over there, you sold out yeah. the show. You're returning to Osaka and Tokyo. The Far East is far out. <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> Where have you been on this tour? Uh, on this spot, on these, on these American dates. I mean, no, since you started. Where, where um, have you gone since you started? Whew, um, I'd spent a lot of time here in the States, which has yeah. been cool because, you know, the States is the place which kept our, our thing going while we were gone. More than Europe. And more yeah. than Japan as well. Yeah. You're going to be at the Neptune Theater in Seattle tonight. Tomorrow night, you'll be at the Commodore Ballroom in Vancouver, B.C. And I was delighted to see that you're going to be in Hawaii. They probably don't get a ton of band stopping over there. It's a huge indie scene in Hawaii. It's massive over there. <laughs> they must be freaking out. I bet that show sold out like in four seconds. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> in Honolulu Stadium. Enjoy yourselves. I so wish I could get in a suitcase and go with you. Thank you again so much for coming in. And you've got a few more songs for us, yeah? We have. Live in studio with Ride. Tonight they will be at the Neptune Theater here in Seattle. Okay.
the stream. <laughs> it certainly is, and that was fantastic. Steve shaking his hands out, just playing right down to the nubbins there. Wow, that was incredible. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Ride live here in the KEXP studios tonight. You can see them at the Neptune Theater tomorrow at the Commodore Ballroom in Vancouver. Then they'll be in Honolulu. You can see them in Tokyo, Osaka, Singapore, and Hong Kong. And then home yeah. to... Uh, Get that perfume ready. <laughs> <laughs> Not asking anything else of you, man. That was incredible. You just enjoy it day by day. Boy, I cannot believe this is the end of an exciting chapter here at KEXP. I want to thank our videographers, Jim Beckman and Justin Wilmore, Luke Neck, and Jim Bennett taking photos. Matt Ogaz is our board op today, and Philip Harvey, and of course, the wonderful Kevin Suggs, our engineers. And... Um, Thank you guys so much. Steve, Luz, Mark, and Andy. An emotional and historic moment for us, and we're so excited to be sharing it with us. For Thank you. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're sharing it with us. I'm yeah. getting choked up and uh, losing my ability to talk here, but we look forward to uh, spending more time with you in the future, whatever form that takes. Thank That's you great. so much. Many thanks. Thank you. Thank you. This is Ride, here live on KEXP from Dexter and Denny, our very last in-studio performance here at this home and on to an exciting new chapter for KEXP. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.